Welcome back to Youth Tutors, where learning is easy and fun. Today, we're unlocking the secret skill of telling time. No more guessing when lunch starts or bedtime arrives. By the end of this video, you'll read clocks like a pro. We'll break down the clocks parts, learn the hour and minutes hand, and even tackle tricky quarter past and half past. Ready to become a time-telling whiz? Let's jump in and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful lessons. So now we have the parts of the clock and there's two types of clock. By the way, there's analog clock and then there's digital clock. But first I'll be um, explaining the analog clock and explaining the parts of it. And then I'll be going to digital clock to explain that. Um, but I would say analog clock is very important because firstly you, you would see it anywhere. You'll see it in the stores, you'll see it in your house, you'll see it in school. So like before I said, if you want to know what time your lunch is and how much time there is left for lunch, um, analog clock will be really helpful and in general you should just know how to um, understand the clock and tell time the traditional way and then the modern modern way so um, f the first thing you should know is the hour hand um, the hour hand is the shortest one right here this is known as the um, hour hand so next we have the minute hand which is the long hand and it is this one now you will also see like a second hand, uh, which is right here, but I would I would say it's not really important unless you're doing like a science experiment or you're going into medical field. Um, but like for now, it's not really important in real life, so I will not be explaining it that much um, since it's not really that important. But just so you know that that the third hand um, is known as the second hand. So now um, is the numbers from one through twelve, which you must be wondering what is that. So, the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is the hours. Um, that tells you which hour it is. Um, uh, if the hour hand is pointing on 1, then it will be 1, 1 o'clock. If it's pointing on 2, then it will be 2 o'clock. But unless, if it's like the hour hand is like in between, like right here, um, like right here then you would say it's 4 o'clock since it's going from 4 to 5 and it's not going from 5 to 4 because that's not possible. So now this is called counterclockwise. Makes sense, right? So now here we have a digital clock. So the two first numbers are the hours. Um, digital clock, you'll see it anywhere, whether it be your alarm or your bedside um, clock or even on your phone, that's what it is. Unless it doesn't, um, on phones, it doesn't say a.m. or p.m. Uh, most digital clocks do not say a.m. or p.m. That's something you have to like tell. Um, but sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It really depends. But let's get to um, step by step. So the first two numbers, which is this right here, is the hours. Um, so it's 12 o'clock. That's what we would say. The last two digits are the minutes. So these are the minutes. Um, we would say 12 o'clock. It's 12.53, that's how would we uh, That's how we would say it, even in the analog clock and even in here. Now the colon you see over here, um, the colon is basically separates the hours and the minutes, so it's not very confusing and it's very um, organized. And that is also how, would, how you would write time if you're even looking at the analog clock. And now the AM or PM. So AM means morning and then PM means night. So you would say it's 12.53 a.m., which means it's in the morning. And, and if it says p.m., you would say 12.53 p.m. Now we're going to know how to tell hours. So when the hour hand is on 3, then it's 3 o'clock. So telling hours is pretty simple. Actually, it's not very difficult. Um, but I just have some examples for you guys, so let's get to that. So the first example is that this clock... Oh, sorry, my bad. This clock, the hand, is pointing at 12. So that means that it's 12 o'clock. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, it's 12 o'clock. Now, our next one is that the hour hand is pointing at 1. So that means that it's going to be 1 o'clock. So let's see if that's right or not. It's right. Um, our next example is that the hour hand is pointing at 2. As you can see right here, it's pointing at 2. So that means that it's going to be 2 o'clock. Let's see if it's right. It is right. And now our last example is that the hour hand is pointing at 3. 
um right here it's pointing at three so that means it's gonna be three o'clock and that is right so that was um how you can tell the hours and now we're gonna move on to how to tell minutes telling minutes so you count by fives around the clock like clockwise and you'll go 5 10 15 20 through 60. that's how um so it ends at 60 and then it starts all over again when it's a new hour so example is that if a minute hand is on five like the number five then it's going to be 25 minutes now if the minute hand is on seven then it's going to be 35. If the minute hand is on one, it's five. And if the minute hand is on three, then it's 15. You get the gist of it? Um, it's basically, okay, so let me draw a clock for you guys to make it more simpler and I can explain it more. Definitely not circular. Let me make a circular one. That does not look circular. Um, okay, so now we have that. And then we're going to do 12, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we already have twelve. So, um, there's always that line in between. So supposedly, let's just say that this is right. The short hand is on twelve, right? And the long hand is on three. That means that the time is going to be twelve uh the colon and then fifteen. That's how basically what it means when I say that if the minute hand is on 5, then it's 25. If the minute hand is on 7, then it's 35. That's basically what it meant. Now let's put it all together, the hours and minutes, so we can actually know how to tell time. So here I have some examples for you. Um, the first one being that, let's focus on this one. It is, so let's see where the hour hand is. It's on 2, so it would be 2. And... The minute hand is on 11, and 11 times 5 is 55, so it's 55, so it's 255. Now our next one is that the hour hand, which is right here, is at 1, and the minute hand is on 6, that means it's going to be 1 o'clock, 30 minutes. So um, you can write it this way, or you can write it this um, way. It's either way you can write it, doesn't really matter. Now... Next one is that the hour hand is on 11, so it's going to be 11. And the minute hand is on 9. 9 times 5 is 45, so it's 45. So it's 11.45. Our next one is 7. So the um, minute hand, I mean, the hour hand is on 7, so it's going to be 7 o'clock. So when it's on 12, make sure that you put two zeros. That's basically what it means. It's 7 o'clock. It hasn't gotten um to any minutes yeah now uh we have our next one which is 405 so if it's like singular digit um for the minutes make sure you write 05 or like that's basically where you're gonna write 05 because there's no other one that is single digit so you're gonna write 05 if it's on one like the minute hand is on one now our next one is five the min uh the hour hand is on five and the minute hand is on 6, which means 30. Now we have our last few examples. Um, so this is going to be 1250. Because, let me make it look better. 1250. Because it's 12, uh, the hour hand is on 12. And then um, the minute hand is on 10. 10 times 5 is 50. Now... Um, the hour hand is on 7, so it's going to be 7. And then um, the minute hand is on 8, that means it's going to be 40. And our last example for today is that the hour hand is on 9, and the minute hand is on 15. And that was it. I hope you learned how to tell time. So here I have some key takeaways for you guys. The first one is that the hour hand is the shortest one and comes first before the minutes. Um, the longer hand is the minutes and comes after the minutes when you're writing it. And the colon separates the hours and minutes. And that was it for today's video. Now you know how to read both analog and digital clocks. So practice your skills every day to become even better. If you found this lesson helpful, please subscribe to Youth Tutors for more educational videos. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.